Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, this video is about the best uh, swing trading. Uh, what is the best swing trading? The best swing trading uh, is about uh, the turn in the wave and the best uh, risk uh, reward ratio. Okay? If one wants to uh, swing trade like professional trader, okay? If one wants to achieve the best uh, swing trading reward uh, results, one must check the, the, the risk uh, reward ratio and also enter the trade okay, at the beginning of the third area wave. The third area wave uh, offers the best uh, risk reward ratio. One can perfectly risk uh, $200 at the beginning of the third area wave for a substantial profit of $800 or even $600 or $500. So this is an excellent risk reward ratio. So the first thing that a swing trader must check is the risk reward ratio. And the third in the wave offers okay, the best risk reward ratio. Okay? This is a very, very important for the best swing trading. Okay? Here we can see that uh, on a weekly chart of uh, Microsoft, uh, the price was first on a downtrend. So this is the normal progression of the market. So there was a downtrend followed by an inverted head and shoulder pattern. So the price was displaying the lower lows, lower high, lower lows, lower high. And here the price display a higher low. Now, when we see a bullish uh, a pattern, we will go to a higher time frame to check whether we are at a support level because a bullish pattern will take place at a support level, at a valid support level. So when we see a bullish uh, a pattern on the weekly chart, we want to check all the higher time frame. When we say to trader that the daily chart is your higher time frame, trader will say, okay, I will stop on the daily chart. Nothing should stop you to look on the weekly chart, monthly chart, quarterly chart, yearly chart. Nothing should stop you. Look on the higher time frame so that you do not miss anything because it's your money and you want to okay make sure that you do not okay expose your money to some okay risk okay very important or oh, you manage the risk carefully and the simple thing is to look on the higher time frame a bullish so you see a bullish pattern a bullish pattern will take place at a support level. So you see this on a weekly chart, you want to look on the monthly chart, quarterly chart, yearly chart, are we at a support level? Okay, let's look on the yearly chart. Let's what The prior was in a vertical move. If you like, we can highlight it for you. Okay, this is the normal, a simple way of uh, trading. That's why we say to trader that you will make a decision. Okay, a trading system will not trade for you. You will always do the homework yourself okay very important that's the best way you see so the price went up first followed by a sharp correction because it went vertical it's normal a sharp correction followed by a consolidation we are at a support zone okay so we see that was a, in a support zone now you see why on the weekly chart we have an inverted head and shoulder at the support level because the bullish uh, pattern the bullish pattern will take place at a support level. So when we see a bullish pattern on daily chart on another time frame, we must look on the higher time frame to verify that we are at a valid support level, yes or no. You will make that decision, you will do that homework. Is your okay <laughs> your part of responsibility and all the traders should do that. Okay? Very important. Okay? Now so you see now we, we the price was in a in a support zone here, okay, base here, okay. So let's go back again to the weekly chart that time, okay. Let's remove my uh, things, okay. Let's go back quickly, uh, moment please, okay. We'll get this soon, okay. So when we see a bearish pattern, we want to make sure that we are at a resistance level. So you see your double top, or you see. Uh, uh, head and shoulder pattern on your daily chart, your favorite daily chart, okay, and you are trading a pattern, you must check the higher time frame to verify that what is causing this bearish pattern. Something is creating this bearish pattern. It's a resistance level that should create a bearish pattern, okay? So you double check that, go into the higher time frame, and check it first, okay? Now you are satisfied with it. <laughs> you are trading the price, the price must give the signal to enter, okay, the trade, just, that's the way it is, okay, 
That's the way it is, okay? Not indicating. Doesn't matter whether you are using some complicated formula or not, okay? So here, we know that at this point in time, you see the red line, okay? As I show you, if you go back again, okay? Okay? Moment, please. We go back again. You see the red line is the support level. You see? That's the support level. Prior went fast on a yearly chart, sharp correction to the downside, to the red horizontal line. That's where the, the bullish pattern was taking place at a support zone. So I will be quite happy to participate in this bullish pattern. If it was in the wrong place, I will not. Okay, so we see an event ahead of the shoulder pattern at a, at a support level. First, area wave, this is it, the white one here, from here up to this level, followed by A, B, C, second complex, this is a complex second area wave, followed by the third area wave. Talking about the best swing trading, it's about catching consistently the third area wave. The TST W24, okay, will give you a double green or a triple green signal at the beginning of the third area wave. Very often, it will give you the signal, okay, a triple green or a double green. In a downtrend for a, for a, for a, for a, for a third area wave, it will give you a triple red signal or a double red signal. It's just the same thing. Now, when we say to traders that, uh, okay, you can use TSTW24 for swing trading. Traders, okay, <laughs> they are lazy. Some traders are lazy, okay. There are some TSTW24 traders, we know. Uh, now, there is one gentleman recently, I don't want to mention names here. He's from uh, one of the countries. I'm not going to mention the country also. And uh, we like his approach because since he became a TSTW24 trader, he will come to, to www.bestastrategy.com I see his movement because we know everybody got a unique path in the world and we know what ev every trader is doing and we see his pattern carefully and uh, I mean I'm quite amazed the way this gentleman is uh, learning you can see the time he's spending and how he's watching the videos and why he's looking at is quite amazing okay you can see straight away this is a, a very serious trader okay now that's the best way so we have a bullish pattern at a support level First is the way, second is the way has been ABC quality move. For best swing trading, we want the, the best risk reward ratio in the third in the way, right here, boom. Your entry point is right here, okay? I will highlight it for you, the entry point, okay? Because the yellow line is a hot spot trading zone, okay? Break above it, retest it, and turn around. That's the beginning here, that's your best entry point. The third in the way has started here. But your entry was here, break above it, retest it, and turn around. That's the best place to enter the trade. This uh, yellow line is a very important level. It's a hot spot on the zone where the price went down to that level and turn around. At the hot spot on the zone, the, uh, some one group of traders will exit the trade, another group will enter the trade. At this point in time, the bear were exiting the trade and the bull were entering the trade. It's exactly at that point that hot spot on the zone, you see, it's again the price break above it, retest it, and turn around, and the third in the wave has begun at that point urgently, you see? So let's go back again to our normal chart here. You can see that uh, there was a downtrend first, okay, followed by an inverted head and shoulder at the support zone. This is uh, a hidden, okay, a consolidation session. Because we're on a weekly chart, you will see as a consolidation, but if you go on a daily chart, you know that this zone is a consolidation session on the daily chart, okay? And then the price break above the consolidation zone. The first area way will always break above, okay, a resistance zone. You see the red horizontal line here? It break above it, and then... We have a pullback, ABC. The reason why we have ABC, the price was acknowledging. Anytime the price is slowing down, it's either at a support level or a resistance zone. The corrective move usually takes place at a support level or at a resistance zone. This is it, this level here, this yellow line, where the price did turn around here. As we come to that level, the, pri ac the price acknowledge that zone by consolidating, giving ABC corrective move before breaking above it and retested the price was slowing down because of this key level. You will enter the trade right here, break above it, retest it around. This is about the best swing trading, considering, okay, the best uh, risk reward ratio. So in this case, entering the trade at a support zone right here, you may risk maybe $100 for maybe 600 profit. Boom. 
for this way. It's about swing, best a swing a trade, best a swing trade. You see, it's about the best risk reward ratio and catching constantly the third any way. When one is about to enter the, the third in the wave, one must check the fundamental because the price is expected to continue the movement for a long time. You see, all these candles are weekly charts for many, so for, for many months, okay? So the fundamental must back the bullish momentum or the bearish momentum depending on we are in a downtrend or in an uptrend, okay? So the fundamental are crucial in the third in the wave. If the fundamental are not sound and the third in the wave has begun, you will see what we call market capitulation which means a bullish signature okay will change quickly to become a bearish signature a market capitulation usually take place okay sometime at the beginning of the third in the way or at the beginning of the first in the way and some trader will expect that the movement will continue only to see that the that uh, the momentum has stalled because there is no fundamental okay basis for the price to continue the movement to the upside so smart trader will sell instead of buying in the third in the wave, creating what we call the market capitulation, which means the price will break above it, pretending to go up a bit, which is a fake breakout, only to quickly return below okay, <laughs> the resistance level. For the downtrend, you will see sometimes the price will dig below the support level. People think that the downtrend has begun only to quickly return above it because the fundamental in that case was sound. So, when you are about to, to swing trade, if you want to achieve the best swing trading result, you must check the risk reward ratio, catch the third in the wave, and check okay, uh, the balance sheet at Google Finance, Yahoo Finance. Okay? Here we are looking at Microsoft, we'll go to Google Finance, tap in the EPIC MSFT, you'll see all the information regarding Google, the news, and the balance sheet, checking the short term debt, the competition, the products. And what is the company going through? The cash flow, okay? The sale, very important, okay? So at this point in time, we'll do our homework, the fundamental chain using the trading triangle and catching the third in the way. This is about the best swing trading, the best risk reward ratio, catching the third in the wave and checking the fundamental. Here, those who understand the third the, the area wave theory will know that it's the first area wave, second area wave has been divided into ABC corrective move, third area wave here. They will use the, uh, the, the Fibonacci extension to, to estimate how far the price will go. If you do not understand the, uh, the, the Fibonacci extension or Fibonacci projection, you can perfectly use the price self, the exit strategy, one support level. If you buy at one support level, your first target is the first and nearest resistance level. So if you draw your resistance level on this weekly chart, as you can see this level, you see the green one here, that's the resistance level where the third wave has stopped. You see that? So you do not have to know the, the Fibonacci extension by drawing the key levels on the chart, you see that's where it stops. Followed by the fourth area wave. The fifth area wave failed to exceed the, the high of the third area wave. That's a weakness in the uptrend. Trader will look for opportunity to sell. Price going down will pay attention to the first and nearest support level, which is right here where I'm moving my cursor. Price break below it. We know that it will go to the 50% of 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level for the whole trend that has begun from here up to this level here. 50% or 61.8% of the whole move that has begun from the first area wave to the end of the fifth area wave. This is about the best uh, swing trading. I hope you enjoyed this video that you will put it to practice in order to make uh, okay best uh, swing uh, trading decision. Thank you for watching and uh, we will speak to you uh, very soon. We are the TSTWSYS08 uh, traders.